Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I have farmed a little bit, <clears throat> and I will uh, I will show you. But I also thought we would do something. Um, don't worry, I'll extend the episode because of that. Don't worry. Let us see. I farmed some crafting material and some money, and I upgraded some things. All the twin blades, some daggers. Um, the claws, the things that I'll most likely be using. You can look at some of these numbers. Uh, for instance, this has seems to have the highest base and the best. No, this actually has better scaling. Potentially better scaling, but the base of this one is better. Um, but I don't remember the moveset. One day we'll try it when we go to try dagger. I mean claws again. Uh, the daggers we upgraded, we know that how the daggers work. However, for the first time, we actually have all the twin blades except from Eleanor's bow blade at 12, so we get a better... Actually, let me remove the bleed on that thing. Let me <coughs> remove the bleed on the twin blade for the time being. That way we actually get a bit of a better comparison of their damage at this stage of the game. So roughly pretty much the same scaling, just a little bit more weight and damage between the Twin Knight Sword and the Twin Blade. I think the, I think the Twin Knight Sword looks hideous, so I wouldn't use it either way for fashion, fashion ring, obviously, or fashion souls. But the interesting thing is the gargoyle. Look at the damage difference. Actually, never mind. It's not that much of a damage difference. What am I saying? <laughs> but uh, we haven't. Uh, we have, don't have a lot of uh, uh, scaling yet. Like we don't have a significant difference between strength and dex. But actually, the strength in our build is higher than dexterity. Yet the yet the weapon scales. Nah. It's roughly on the same level as of right now. Never mind. <clears throat> we'll have to see later if the scaling changes or something. But this one's a bit interesting, actually. <clears throat> this seems to be the strongest one. But that's also because we have two more dexterity. Yeah. It's a it's a very small margin, but but still. And it also has that pretty cool uh uh Ash of War as well. Um and this one uh, scaling here seventy two, so better. And 248, which is better. Like, this is by far the best. But then again, it also has fire damage, so it really depends on the resistance of the enemy. And either way, not too much of a difference between which one of these I use. And also, I have to question whether using bleed even makes a difference. You know? Interesting. How is Occult this strong? Oh, because it scales with Arcane? Uh, that is actually... Uh, yeah. Now, I don't know if uh, Bleed is even... Um, worth it on the Twin Blades. I mean, you'd think, but I f because of the amount of times it hits. But I just don't feel it's that fast. Either way... We'll figure that out. Now, for another thing that I wanted to do, I did some research on the um, poison, right? I found some numbers, but not too many numbers. So we're just gonna try out and see the poison difference. Oh, 
Okay, it went from 37 to 05. Or from 9 to 77. 9 to 77 would be... 60... 8? Okay, so let's say it's uh, 68 per tick versus that thing. Now, to be fair, um, arcane effects, how much damage this uh, pot does, so just keep that in mind. So we came to 68, is that what I said? We'll say 70-ish. Let's try the daggers. Lord man. There we go. <laughs> oh two to so sixty-eight. Actually same. Interesting. I wonder if it's just a coincidence or if they both scale up of arcade. But my god, the amount of daggers you have to throw is stupid. <laughs> Alright, next on the list is our Ash of War. Actually, we can go for the for the mist instead. Let's go for the mist. So poison mist. So they're both in the sixty-eight to seventy range as of right now. Sixty-eight. I should see. Because I did read that a perfumer's poison bottle de deals more damage, but the perfumer's uh, poison, uh, if I, if they all work the same way, I have to use FP to cast it, um, which is kind of what I'm trying to avoid. So, the idea is to see if, uh, ninety-five. Holy shit! Ninety-five. That is, uh, that is quite a bit more. Actually. <laughs> All right, that's no joke. But it could also be that the duration is shorter. Maybe it's just condensed damage. Um, how about we try that? How about we try this again. What was it? The fetid one. Ooh, we actually should not, because I don't have that many toxic mushrooms. Well, one day we will give it a shot. So yeah, this actually deals quite a bit more damage. Um, no joke. Yeah. I'm also thinking of removing these from my bar, there's no point in having these, so I'm gonna add... This? There's no point in having that on the bar. Yeah. I'm also thinking of adding the lantern. That way, we don't clutter our bar so much. And in the future, we can maybe add some more consumables. Like mid, mid battle consumables. Yeah, this is much better. Anyways. Don't worry, I will extend the episode. Just doing a little bit of science. Um, not wondrous physics. Charges. Oh, I need five. Alright, anyways. Um, I went ahead and I found the cave. Abandoned cave. So, the way you get there, I'll show you actually. 
it's actually from the other side. Um, if you remember, there is one Iron Maiden. Some random ass Iron Maiden. Over there. Right over there. Uh, we have to go past that and there's jump on these branches. The first time I tried, I, I failed, I died, so I used the horse on the second attempt. So, yeah. I looked up the location, not gonna lie. Alright, so this is uh, rot. <laughs> so, for rot, we will put on rot immunity. Somebody also said use the mushroom head. Is that the best immunity we can have? That seems to be the case. Alright, so we will we will be a mushroom head for this uh Oh sh Wait, you're still... I can already tell I hate this place. <laughs> Let's just... Is that... That does damage. Did that... Was that a knight? A rot knight? Judging by the cape, it kind of looked like a rot knight. Let's... Uh... What is happening? Why are we... Fine, we're doing it like this. Alright, so... Uh, why are we still building up poison? I mean, rot. It's because I have rot on me. For some reason, standing here is fine. <laughs> Alright, I'll take this opportunity to just... Reduce our... Build up of rot. Oh, I was gonna test something. Alright, when we get out, I will test it. I'm, I was gonna test backstab damage. I was, I, was, I was reading a little bit about the... Uh, the black knife, and it says it deals extra backstab damage, or parry, uh, yeah, stealth damage. I'm not sure if it's 
stealth and backstab is this stealth and parry damage or critical damage is the same. It probably isn't, but we shall try it. The Misericord. Damage. Oh, toxic mushroom. Thank you. Uh, I was also thinking maybe the uh, roll and backstep attacks on the dagger is better than this than this one because this is one, two, three. It's just three hits, while the roll really is two quick hits. So in terms of getting hits in for the status, maybe... Ah. Fire grease. Fire. Bastards in the back there. Yes. Oof, that's a lot of rot build up. Holy. Interesting. Was I under the influence of something that slows me down? Also curious about why the the Iron Maidens are here. Venomous Fang. Is that a weapon? Oh right, I have another uh, two weapons to showcase. Uh, where did I find this? Oh right, right. The weapon I've, I'm showing now, I found in the. I'll just show you actually. Um. Here. So there was this one item that I couldn't get, and someone left a comment saying just go follow the path down instead. So I did. I went and picked up the item, and then on top of where we fought that first weird like butterfly beetle thing in the ant area, uh, there was a chest, and in that chest there was 
this item. Wing of Vestal. Nebula. Sword fashioned from a delicate wing, suffu suffused with the magic of the stars. Strong attack unleashes a wave of enchanting light. Crafted from the relic of natural born, of the natural born of the void, we said to have sailed the eternal city of ne Nebula. Imbued the natural born's wings with magic to send forth a dark cloud of stars that lingers briefly before exploding. We'll try this when we get out. Uh, what are the stats on this? Magic. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> and what did we just get? Venomous Fang. It looked like a fist weapon. Or a club. If it even is a weapon. Oh, there it is. Venomous Fang. Quick step causes a poison build of 72. Ugh. One of the weapons designed for gladi gladiatorial combat used by duelists will be exiled from the Colosseum. The Black Fangs protrude from the bronze. Snake head is coated in deadly poison. We shall try this later as well. Still has not opened the door. <laughs> Just saying. I don't think we're gonna face anything that is weak to poison, so let's just do it this way. Nice magnetism, bro. What? Working. Uh, trying to gauge your damn armor here. That is a chunk. Love it. I'm gonna be stabbed here. Oh, oh no! I gotta heal here. My god, that guy's magnetism is through the roof. Ah, we don't need to take so many risks now.
That was annoying. Golden Scarab. So I believe... I believe that's what gives us more gold when we kill stuff. That's really annoying. But then again, multi-opponent multi fights in this game is... A talisman for similar of a scarab, the carrier of treasure and precious things. This golden scarab increases the amount of runes obtained from defeating enemies. To be fair, we could just use it now. Nah. <clears throat> Let's not make the game too easy. I'm not saying I'm crushing the game, obviously, but... Uh, um, I think if I increase my power level a bit too much... Oh, I could have used Endure! Oh my god, I keep forgetting... It's just not my playstyle to reduce damage taken and just go bananas. It's like a berserker style playstyle, I don't do that. It just is not my style, I need to remember to do it. Um, right, we have a couple of weapons to try out, so let's do that. <clears throat> First, did I mark this? No, but I need to... Get up there at some point and check how I can enter it. Anyways, let's see. Uh, what is this? And that cost me no FP? Wow. Interesting. That seems pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. That seems like a very good zoning tool in PvP. Whether it's potent or not, I don't know. <clears throat> they look hideous. Fashion Souls is important to me. Alright, oh, let's uh, try out what I wanted to try out. I know who we can try it on. Let's go to here. Let me first take off bleed on the misery cord, so you get a proper damage number, obviously, because the. A blood, I mean, because uh, that reduces base damage or physical damage in general. So it's... All right, come over here, you punk ass. Ooh, this one gives extra. Okay, eight hundred and ninety-two. Maybe it doesn't give extra. Anyways, 892. Now keep in mind this weapon is plus 12. Now let's try it with only a plus 2 black knife. Now this is also holy a little bit, so if our friend here is either weak or resistant to holy, that is gonna make an impact. So just keep that in mind. And why do I have the jumping attack talisman? Oh, no, it's because of my 562, so not. Not that much, but it's hard to say. It's hard to compare those uh, items that uh, like are upgraded differently. It's also worth noting that... It's, it's different, but may not be better, because the dagger's range is so short, the thrust from the heavy might actually be really good. Anyways, is there anything else other than Endure we can have here? I wish there was. Oh, well. I have to get that. So yeah, 
quite a big uh, quite a big difference in raw backstab damage. Can I upgrade? I mean, level up. No, no. So what can I do to get a little bit of extra level up? Oh yeah, of course, we need to go ahead. See, I still wonder what the lore of that assassin place we was in we were in in the last episode. What that what the lore is for that place. Why why was an assassin protecting that place? Why are the assassins fate based? What are they faithful to? The earth tree? Does that mean that the why are you also lightning? Also, what is this? I was thinking about it actually earlier today, but I didn't actually look at the statue. This might give us some idea. What this is. Okay, so there's a dying somebody. being carried by somebody. I'm gonna go and say this is either somebody being carried to a ritual or somebody that is dying. But I'm not sure if that person that is being carried is in pain. If this is consensual or not. <laughs> It changes my speculation. I really want to know. Oh, tower. Because I'm very curious what these assassins are faithful to. So, like, the the in real life, from the little information that we do have, the assassins of the Middle East where the name stems from. They were like a religious faction, like a fringe faction uh, that were known, well, they were speculated that they were using uh, certain substances to induce hallucinations and kind of radicalize their members to the point that they would be willing to even uh, throw away their own life to achieve what they want to achieve because they believe that whatever they were hallucinating was going to happen. They they weren't you know, like they obviously didn't know about the substance. Of course, this is you know historical speculation. I don't know if there is actual evidence of any of this. So it's just curious to see that the assassins here are faith based. If there is. What the? Lightning Ram? Yes, yeah, so anyways, it's just curious to see that uh, there in this game is also fate based, and if there is. If so, what's a fate, you know? Okay, you bastard. We'll check that out in a second. I'm sure these lightning rams drop something, like lightning buff or something. Fulgur Bloom. Now what is that? There's something... Can I get back up? Looks like it. Stormcaller Church. Lightning.
Dragon Bolt Blessing. Okay, let's actually look at what we picked up. We're picking up a lot of things here. Uh, bolsters Caster's Body with Lightning. Superior Incantation of the Capital's Ancient Dragon Cult. Summons lightning to bolster the caster's body. Attacks become easier to deflect and resistance to all ailment is increased. However, lightning damage and negation will be reduced. Okay. We can use this. Sounds interesting. We also got like this lightning ram, what is it? There it is. Uh, lightning Rams, skill inspired by Trumbling Rams, let out a bleat and tumble forward clad in lightning. Tumbles can be repeated. Oh, so you turn into Sonic. Just with lightning. I guess we can try it. <laughs> that we climbed. Well, hello. Oh. I did think I thought I heard something. Hooves or steps outside. I was just imagining things. What? No backstab, huh? I guess I didn't want it. Are you kidding me? Stupid game and it's backstab registrations. This is actually a bit of an issue with the daggers. Is that fighting regular tough enemies? They aren't actually tough, but like the daggers are just so so much work. <laughs> Constantly. Like you constantly gotta do so much, put so much effort into beating this. Nice, I didn't want that backstab anyways also. Oh, that was the magic potion. Oh well. Not sure how it hit me there. Works on the sword guy. <laughs> how, the, how the hell did he hit? And how did I not get a backstab? Come on, dude. This game. Such a joke sometimes. What a waste of time. <laughs> Such bullshit. I got hit in the back end of his spear and I took like 33% of my life. It's like, come on. I'm gonna bother. Ah, uh, let's try. Maybe they're off something. That's 
strange. Oh my God, I'm so bored of these repeat enemies. It's the same enemies over and over again. And the game devs just hide like random things here and there, so you can't really just skip them either. Suddenly you get like a thing that for some reason this one enemy has. <laughs> nice. Surprised I didn't hit. Oh, God, I have to delay it a bit. Oh, the daggers. They're so shit. Can't do anything. Nope, no backstab. Don't get it. Not allowed. So tough. God, this weapon suck. Like, I could basically play the claw and do pretty much the same thing. Just so much better. What? Wait, why is he full HP? Oh no, he's not full HP. But I, I wore him down much more than this. I need to take my souls. <laughs> Using daggers. This is never gonna work. I gotta run away for a sec. I'll come back to this. I'll come back. I promise. I just don't want to lose the souls. Oh, but that is... That is so far to get him every time. Is there a quicker way? I can't fight this guy with the daggers. It's never gonna happen. Uh, maybe there's a way up here. Yeah, there's like zero chance that I'm gonna kill that dragon with these toothpicks. Thank, thank you, yeah, for swapping targets for me. So what element is that thing? Fire and lightning? I saw fire, I saw red lightning. I don't know what red lightning is. <laughs> 